move on to the markets. We saw the Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, all share index close at 33,468 today, down by 0.11%. And joining me from the trading floor of the Stock Exchange to discuss the equity market is David Adorian. He's a GM at Lambeth and Trust Investment. David, thank you for joining me today. Always a pleasure being with you. Good day. Hello. Judy. Hello. Now, it will be very interesting to talk about what led to the declines that we saw in the market today. I mean, um, we, we saw, um, you know, the likes of UBA and GTB uh, actually gaining. Uh, so it will it, be interesting to see, you know, to know what uh, particular stocks led to that decline. Thank you very much. I think uh, on the average, the banking uh, sector performed very well today. Uh, because uh, quite a lot of the principal banks appreciated today. But however, the other sectors uh, uh, drag the market down today. Uh, the uh, building materials sector, uh, typified by uh, Lafarge Wapco, lost about two naira, one kobo. Uh, Cadbury also came down, and a few other highly capitalized stocks uh, declined today, dragging. Uh, the entire market down, you know. So that the, the, the appreciation by a few uh, not highly capitalized stocks uh, in the market uh, like Okomo Oil could not actually reverse uh, the fortune of the market today, you know. So precisely uh, that was what happened in the market today. I see. Now let's move on to this news that uh, Julius Berger has declared a dividend of 2 naira 50 in his 2012 audited results. Now, it would be interesting to know how the market reacted to that news. Yeah, the market uh, appeared to have been apathetic uh, to that uh, corporate uh, action that was released by Julius Berger today, uh, notwithstanding the fact that the 2 naira 50 cover dividend that was declared actually met the usual benchmark of about 5% dividend yield. But um, the, 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 perhaps it's going to be a delayed reaction. Apparently, there was no reaction. If you also reflect backwards, to observe that last week, uh, Berger Pence also announced a corporate action of about 70 kobo yes. uh, dividend, you know, uh, for, for the, the last financial year. Surprisingly, uh, the, the price of uh, Cadbury declined today, indicating that... Um, those uh, dividend uh, announcements have not sufficiently impacted on the market. But they, 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 they have, on the average, been quite uh, impressive, you know. So, but however, Cadbury, Cadbury uh, which gave about 50 kobo last week, uh, was not impressive. That dividend yield fell remarkably below the benchmark of 5%. I think the yield was just about 1.4%. So, so far we are having uh, uh, mixed uh, fortunes in terms of the corporate actions that have been released so far. But investors are actually uh, targeting the, 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 the banking sector and the agricultural sector, you know, for impressive uh, distributions this year. So it's not unlikely that we are, the, the reactions are not pouring in yet as investors uh, await uh, the results from those two sectors. 